Let's say you've been working on a classic pipeline in Azure DevOps and now you want to convert it to YAML. Or perhaps you want to learn the YAML pipeline syntax referencing a classic one. Today we will do just that thanks to the new Expert to YAML feature that has been introduced recently. You may want to watch this video even if you've already used the view YAML feature that existed before because the new one is much better. But let's get into it. This is the 3 Minutes Friday. Hi everybody, welcome back to Coder Dave and welcome to a new episode of the 3 Minutes series. In each episode, I will try and explain a concept, showcase a product or service, or yet try and teach you something and all in just 3 minutes. Short videos, big value, hopefully. Today we talk about the new Expert to YAML feature of Azure Pipelines, and this is the feature that helps you migrating designer pipelines to YAML. But let's start the clock and get into it. Let's start by saying that this new feature not only is more correct than the old one, but it also covers a broader range of classic pipelines features. The previous version of this feature, in fact, worked on uh, one job or step at a time. This was not only very time consuming, because you had to click on each step and get the YAML, but also not very accurate. The differences were typically subtle, small, and hard to spot. The new feature adopts a different approach because it's implemented directly in the platform, reusing the classic and YAML pipelines infrastructure to make sure that the resulting YAML is correct and accurate. To use the new export to YAML feature, you don't need to go editing the pipeline, but just click on it. Then you can just select the export to YAML item from the ellipsis menu, and this will download the whole pipeline converted in YAML file that you can then edit and use to create a new YAML pipeline. No more time consuming operations. Just one click and you have the full YAML. Isn't it cool? And as I said before, in addition to being more correct, this new version covers more classic pipelines features. In fact, the new system handles single and multiple jobs, checkout options, execution plan parallelism, timeout and new metadata, demands, schedules and other triggers, pool selection, including jobs which differ from the default, all tasks and all inputs, including optimizing for default inputs, job and step conditions, and task group unrolling. There are only two things that are not supported in the conversion. If you have UI variables in your classic pipelines, those will not be exported, but in fact, they will be mentioned by name in some comment in the YAML to remind you to set them up in your new pipeline definition. The other unsupported one is time zone translation. And this is because the cron schedules are expressed in UTC in YAML while they are expressed using the organization time zone in the classic pipelines. Converting cron expression to different time zones is basically almost impossible. Believe me, I tried. And we're done, let's stop the clock. So let me know in the comment section below what you think about this new, more correct and more complete export to YAML feature. I think it's pretty useful and in fact I'm going to convert soon some of my classic pipelines to YAML thanks to this. Today we talk about the new export to YAML feature of Azure Pipeline. So, but the new feature adapts, adapts. This new feature handles more classic build fetcher The other unsupported one is timeline trans timeline and cron But that's it for me. Thanks so much for watching, I really hope you enjoyed it. Hit the like button below, subscribe if you haven't already, and I see you in the next video here at Coder Dave.